Hey, this is Troy from Playtime Missionary. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the oscillators on the Blip Blocks After Dark. This is sort of the hardest part of the synthesizer to, to explain, so we thought we'd do it today with the help of the oscilloscope. So I want to thank uh, Melda Productions for this free oscillator uh, oscilloscope plugin. It's pretty fun if you want to play around with it. You'll notice in this video that um, we have no modulation set on the blip blocks. It is all just coming directly off our oscillators. There's no effects and the filter is wide open. And this is really gives us the opportunity to hear exactly what these oscillators are doing. Let's take a look here. So when I designed these oscillators, I spent hours and hours writing the C code for these. And some of them get so complicated, I barely even remember what's happening to them. But with this, uh, with this oscilloscope visualizer, you can kind of see. So here, uh, as, as you might know, that the blip blocks has two modulation sources. But we're controlling them manually with the knobs here. And we have the oscillator, we have basically red three selected. And that's how we indicate the different uh, the 16 different oscillator types. So what you can see here is that you're getting sort of a... Uh, you can see the wave is sort of moving. It's sort of like a, a, a pulse width. But instead of just uh, a regular pulse width, uh, what we're doing is we're opening up the rest of the wave in between those pulse width modulations. So there's sort of a... We're sort of doing a pulse width on a more of a sine type of wave. And that's, that, that's pretty fun. Try some other, so here you can see this is definitely a super saw type of wave, which is basically just a bunch of uh, sawtooth waves plugged together and uh, mixed together. And you can kind of see what happens as we play with this. I think with the mod one here, we're kind of detuning the, uh, the different uh, uh, sawtooth waves. Again, it's hard to explain what's happening with these waves sometimes, but it's just fun to see uh, what's happening to them just to visualize them. Here on green one, on this oscillator type, uh, we have some basically some pitch shifting going on. This is one of the only oscillators where you can actually control the pitch um, with the knobs. All the other oscillator types are sort of uh, pitch locked to the, the frequency. Here we can hear a bunch of sine waves making a nice sort of organ sound. Here's another big sort of super saw type of wave. This is fun, look at that. You, you can just see, uh, this is, I love it when you can see just the exact composition of the waveform, uh, nice and stable. And you can see exactly what adjusting the uh, modulation sources are doing to that, that waveform. These blue oscillators, if you uh, remember, if you had the original white blip blocks, uh, these are a part of our sort of secret bonus waveforms. So these are the ones that get a little bit noisier, a little bit more rough around the edges. You can see that here with some of this. What's going on here? So it's almost like... Uh, I can't even explain what's going on here. <laughs> it's uh, definitely some, uh, some signs sort of morphing into some, uh, some, some sawtooth waves. This one I do sort of recall. Uh, this was a programming error um, that turned out to be a really great rough sound. Uh, I was supposed to do divide, but instead I did a modulus operation. So if you're a fan of math, you, you might understand what, what that's all about. But um, it makes for a really great random, random sound. So 
what's going on here. So again, you can tell that for a portion of the wave, it's doing a, sort of like a simple, almost like a, a pulse width here. But it, again, as you as you change it, it's what's the other part of that pulse width is is a completely different wave. So I think with this one, you can adjust what's happening there. get some stability on this. Sometimes it's hard for the scope to pick up some of these signals uh, just because they're a little bit... You know, the scope has to find a good uh, repeating uh, waveform to lock onto. If there's too much variation in the waveform and it sometimes have, it has a difficult time doing that. So now uh, with the yellow oscillators here these are the these are our uh, wavetable synthesis um, waveforms. So these actually use um, inside of the memory of the blip blocks. We actually have custom waveforms that we've drawn out. So almost all the other waveforms we've looked at have been combinations of basic, uh, you know, uh, sawtooth signs and squares and pulses. But with the wavetables, we actually sort of draw out. Uh, draw out some specific waveforms. Let's see if we can lock into one here. So that's a pretty good one. So here we have, uh, this is a waveform that's actually stored in the memory of the blip blocks and it's played out with the different frequencies. With the uh, wave tables on the After Dark, we, we have some different modulations like morphing of the waves, scanning of the waves, and uh, it's basically just saying, you know, taking multiple waves and uh, sort of blending them together in different ways. Oh, look at that. That's, that's, I just love that. Look at that waveform. It's just, look at all the stuff that's going on there. Um, that's what gives some of these sounds just really, really big full sounds. Um, you know, this is an example of, I, I believe on this red one oscillator type, there's just a lot going on here. This is sort of like our, our base, base oscillator type for the After Dark. It's, it's just such a nice big full sound. And on this waveform, you can really see that. There is like, you know, there are some nice curvy sine waves, there's some sharp pulse width going on. I mean, look at all the variation you can get from this one oscillator type. Again, no filter, uh, no effects. You know, if you want it, you know, you see with the low pass filter, you can actually, you can see it round out the wave. That's pretty fun the low pass filter, it, it rounds out the edges. And you can see that visually there. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you learned a little bit about how the oscillators work in the Blip Blocks After Dark. Um, and yeah, thanks, thanks again for watching.